Hey guys, Hazi Singh here and today we are taking a look at the Viewbook X512 laptop. It's a beautiful mainstream laptop with more than four colors available in that machine. And you can have a multiple plethora of different components in the machine. But we have the this peacock blue color which is quite nice and looking. So let's go in and see the machine. So this is the Viewbook X512. As you can see, let's talk about the build and design first. So you can see the beautiful peacock blue color. It's very shimmers in the light. And you have four more colors, or three more colors in this machine. And the quality of the product is quite nice. This uh, has a plastic build, but there, uh, there are reinforcements in inside the machine for that, uh, to make it more durable. And uh, as you can see, the display here is a full HD panel. It's a TN panel, uh, quite bright. And you have the keyboard layout here, very simple, chicle keyboard, very tactile keys, you can hear them, very tactile keys. Uh, it's also backlit and you get a small accent around the touchpad itself. The touchpad is also quite smooth and you can use all windows gestures with this machine. There's a fingerprint scanner as well and the whole machine weighs uh, very less, less than 2 kilograms, very lightweight. The back of the machine is black and on other models like the silver, there is a silver back. The machine also has a very good port optimization. So you get two USB ports on the left hand side of the machine and on the right hand side of the machine you get another USB port, HDMI, type C port for data connection and a micro SD card slot. This machine charges via USB, uh, uh, this machine charges via a power jack port and this also comes in multiple options, so you can have it in a i3 7020U all the way up to a Whiskey Lake i7 8 gen processor with the MX250 graphics from NVIDIA. Let's go inside and see, show you how the internals look like. So now we are taking a look at the insides of the X512 and the X512 comes with uh, a very sparse layout. So you have your RAM slot here. So they, internally there's a 4GB onboard memory and uh, you can put up to 8GB RAM here with up to 12GB uh, of RAM. Uh, this empty space you look uh, is for the uh, external or internal hard drive and you can put an SSD or a 1TB hard drive in this uh, place. In this machine, in the box itself comes something called an upgrade kit. So this would be something like this. And this upgrade kit will have something like this uh, case here. And you can put a 2.5 inch SSD or a hard drive, which will connect directly from the motherboard via this port. So once that is connected, you will have an extension of a one terabyte SSD or a hard drive here. This is a 256 GB SSD here. And this is an NVMe SSD. And this can be upgraded up to a 512 GB. Uh, this is the casing for the heatsink for the uh, CPU and uh, this empty spot you say is for the GPU because at the higher end of, the end of this machine you also get an MX250 graphic card at with i7 other options. This is the modem for this machine, a single uh, wind tunnel channel for the airflow uh, because it, the air the sucks in and it entirely flows out of the back. And this is a uh, two cell battery, which will give you about four to five hours of battery life, which is quite nice for this mainstream map laptop. So that's about it. This is the X512. We'll talk to you in another video.